Hi guys! So today I'm going to show you how I make a bin cage. Bin cages are awesome ways to give your animal more space without spending a ton of money. I got this bin at Home Depot for about $30. It's a 50 gallon bin. It'd be awesome for a Syrian because it has height as well. Um, and it's also really sturdy so it's super easy to cut but I'm gonna go over a couple different ways you can do it without power tools or with power tools um, and just show you how I make it for them to be able to be used over and over and over and give your animals some more space so please enjoy so i start out with a normal box cutter and i just begin scoring over and over you don't want to do this too quickly because you'll risk uh breaking the plastic so i just do it slowly push firmly and just go over and over until it naturally gets cut through this is the best way i found to do it without any sort of dremel or anything it takes a while um but it ends up turning out really well so i just go over and do that on all of the sides um this specific bin has a rubbery type top which i found is a lot easier than the clear plastic ones just to keep it uh not breaking but as you can see it naturally just Got, ended up getting all the way through and then you just want to do that on all the other sides so you have a full rectangle to completely take out like i said this does take quite a while but it is definitely worth it in the end and you only have to do it once so after i have the whole piece i can take out i try doing as much of the lid as i can i use this one fourth inch hardware cloth from home depot um this is just the smallest one so i can put any sort of animal mice hamsters um whatever i have in there this is one of the two ways i go about it i use a drill and just slowly drill a hole i definitely say this looks a little nicer but you don't need to have a drill to do this um before i got a drill i would do it with a box cutter which i will show you in a minute um but this is just one way to make it a little cleaner and more uniform that i prefer and heads up you actually do need to use a little bit of a bigger drill for the zip ties i got so i did have to go back and re-hole them um but this is how i used to do it you just have to be really really careful because you are using a blade um it looks a little more messy but you can do it without a power tool if you don't have one um don't be discouraged because you definitely can still make the holes and um, be able to see just as like a little bit larger less perfect hole um and then i go through after i trim the hardware cloth with wire cutters and put zip ties all the way through. I like to do it so the hardware cloth and the nub is on the inside of the enclosure so there's no like uh, plastic edge that the hamster or mouse can start chewing at. Um, this just gives it like a metal protected barrier. And then I just go ahead and tighten all of them and do it all the way around. As you can see, I do it about an inch and a half apart. Um, and then this is, I was trying to show you that it's like the underneath. So you want the, the hardware, the hardware cloth on the inside where like you would flip it over to put it back on the bin. Um, it's tedious. I just do, like I said, about an inch and a half apart. I like to make these really universal. If you're just going to use it for a Syrian, you could do a couple less. Um, but I just want to be able to make it universal. And so anyone could use it, uh, depending on who I have at my house at the time uh, but just make sure you get them super super tight uh, you don't want any escapees and then i just go back in with my wire cutters and trim all of the edges off to so there's not just a bunch of dangling things in the enclosure that would be super ugly um so i just go through and do them all cut them all off and then you are pretty much done at this point I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. If I forgot to say anything and you have a question, definitely leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Um, and if you make this bin cage and it turns out well, definitely send me a picture to my Twitter or Instagram. Um, both of them are linked in the description. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on my other socials. Definitely, I love interacting with you guys. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye!